Hello everybody, Dr. John Asplin here. It's uh, Friday, March 19th. On at least a sunny Friday, it's a little cold outside, but at least it's sunny. Uh, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of things today, and then I'm gonna turn it over to our board president, Tiana Cervantes, who is here today. She actually led the administrative team in a discussion about diversity, equity, and inclusion, which was a fantastic three hours we spent to, together this morning to talk about that really important subject. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is, is a couple of things. One, uh, next Friday we have an early out. So don't forget uh, to put that on your calendar. We have a one hour early release. It's the last day of the third term. Um, and also, that means we've been in school a month, uh, a full month with, with most of our students. And it's gone really well. Um, you know, we've heard some concerns from some of you about the high school and, and you know, the, the way the, the system has to be there and the weather. This sounds like I'm not sympathetic, but basically what I want to tell you is your kids should be wearing coats, they should be wearing hats, they should be wearing rubber boots. That we just don't have the ability to have students inside one building because of the way the construction is working. So it is Illinois, it is the spring. So we want to make sure that students are dressed appropriately so that they can handle it. And as I told a senior yesterday, next year if you're going to college or if you're going to work, you're going to be outside in the elements anyway. So this is something that's good for you to get used to. Uh, it's a very short-term problem because next year, obviously, we'll have the facility, but you know we still do have students that go to the field house every day, so this is somewhat of a common occurrence if you go to Galford High School anyway. So make sure students are dressing appropriately when they come to school because they, they are going to be out in the elements, uh, and they need to be prepared with, with coats, hats, and, and the appropriate footwear uh, because seeing students in flip-flops and, and shorts you know, when it's raining outside does concern us, but you know we need to make sure that, uh, that the students are dressing appropriately. Um, so, really looking forward to the start of fourth term here coming up, and uh, you know, really want to talk about uh, what that means going into fourth term. Just today, the CDC changed its um, guidance on on uh, social distancing in classrooms. Uh, that takes some time to trickle down to the Illinois Department of Public Health, which then will take some time to trickle down to us in terms of how we change our protocols. So, it could lead to some changes for us. It may not. Uh, because we are at the mercy of when the Illinois Department of Public Health makes its changes. And they're at the mercy of when the CDC makes its changes. So some of those changes may be coming downstream in a few weeks. Uh, and I just want to make you aware of that these changes are not instantaneous. And so we have to follow whatever the state is telling us to do. And that, that will take some time. So if you see that this change happened today, just know that we're not changing tomorrow because it happened today. Uh, so I want to keep this short. Uh, I'm going to keep it to those two messages for today. And I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Cervantes. Hello everyone, um, I am the bearer of specific news. Um, so uh, March and fourth quarter typically means that we're starting to think about the end of the year. And one of the biggest um, celebrations that we have at the end of the year is celebrating our seniors at graduation. And some of you may be aware that a survey was sent out to senior families asking uh, about options for this year's ceremony. Um, that survey still is open. You have until the end of the day today if you want your voice to be heard. We have heard from roughly half of the class, um, so there's still some time to have your, your opinion and your voice heard. But currently we are trending um, to toward an outside graduation, um, and, and that has limitations and we do want to listen to our community, um, but I think that our community also needs to be willing to understand the limitations that we will have in providing that outside ceremony. Um, so if you have questions, if you want clarifications, make sure you're contacting someone either at the high school or here at the board office, and make sure that you have your voice heard by filling out that survey. Remember, the end of the day today. Hope everyone has a great day. Enjoy the beautiful weather this, this weekend. Um, Take some time to take a walk outside or you know throw a frisbee whatever it is um, and uh, happy end of third quarter almost